Hi, uh, we will now look at uh, how to create a class in uh, C++. So I want to create a project where I want to display different type of movie titles. Uh, so I will just go to Vision C++, Win32 console application. And uh, my application will be called uh, Movies. So uh, uh, think of uh, having uh, and a collection of movies and you want to uh, display them for uh, your audience uh, and you want to uh, which movie have different uh, items so you have uh, for for this example we will have the title of the movie and we have the, the year that the movie was created so uh, the use uh, why we have classes is because um, we want to be able to uh, reuse the code in different uh, applications and it's very scalable. Uh, now I'm uh, have uh, gone to C++ uh, in mix of Visual Studio, created a new project, and I've just added the IO stream, the string, and the namespace std for the header files, and I will create the class. So to create a video class, uh, you just have to write uh, uh, like this: class video. And here we have a class. Uh, uh, for uh, the video class, we need to have uh, some public uh, uh, information for a program to access. And we, as I said, I wanted to have the title and I wanted to have the year that the movie was created. So, uh, a video. Has, now has the title and the year that we was created. <coughs> Inside main, I, I now can uh, easily create a, 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 a movie by just writing video movie A. So movie A is now a variable of the type of video. That's the same as if we have a string name and name can be I was think, I'm trying to think of an English name um, yeah. so uh, we have a string name and the name is Andre so here we have a movie a video movie A and the movie A title is interstellar so we can have a string name and the name could also be interstellar so um, this is just a variable of the type video and the video has two uh, variables inside it again and it's a string title and it's a year so the title of the movie A is Interstellar and the year is 2014. We went down and created another movie. It's called Movie B. It's Jurassic World. So I created just by writing video Movie B. And Movie B title is just Jurassic World. And the year was 2015. To print the data. Uh, it's really very very easy. You just uh, first I will just write the videos in the class, and um, then I will write the first video, the video A title, and then I will just write movie A dot title, and the A published movie A dot dot year. I will just pause the program here. And we will see how it looks. The 
this is it. A title in Stellar, A published 2014. So we can do the same for video B. Then it's B title, B published, and there's movie B and movie B dot year. So it's just a world and 2015. Uh, the video can be named whatever I want. So if I go to EMDB, EM and find a movie, example uh, The Wall, I can have the name of the variable, I can create a video with the name The Wall. Then it's The Wall. The title equals the wall and the wall dot year equals 2016. Then I can print uh, a sentence for this also. I can print uh, that the world. Title is released in the world of year. The world, of course. If I print this now, I will get an error message because of. Yeah, because I use these. It's an integer. So then I will have the wall is released in 2016. Press and the key to continue. So uh, classes are very, very cool and very easy to use. And I really suggest that you start to use them. And then the next uh, stage will be to use constructors and then methods in classes.